All right, let's do a quick walk around on the U7. That's five steps up from a U2. Uh, <laughs> step through folding fat tire e-bike. It's got a lot of descriptors on here. This is a, it's a nice basic folding e-bike that seems to tick a lot of the boxes if you're looking for folding e-bikes. And I've got things to say about folding e-bikes. We'll save that for later. You got your, you got shocks up front to help with your ride. Fat tire helps with the ride. Uh, it's got the typical folding uh, e-bike pedals. I'm not a fan of those. It's got uh, uh, the rear mounted battery. I'm a huge fan of that. Comes with the rack on it there. Um, a little protector there for the uh, the derailleur. That's nice. It's got a cup holder. Uh, basic controls. I like nice big chunky controls there on the for the thumb section there. I like that. Good dis good large display. Uh, you got left and right turn signals, and you got a horn. And it's it's a chirpy horn too. It's not like the little ding 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 kind of thing. And then you got the half throttle over there. Half throttles are not my favorite. I prefer thumb throttles, but they're not bad. I know a lot of people who prefer them that way to each their own. Uh, the brakes, they're decent brakes, 180 millimeter discs. Uh, they're cable, um, not pneumatic. This price category, that's not surprising. Uh, but anyway, it's a good bike. Let's jump in uh, and uh, look at the website and show you some of the specs and pricing and such. All right, let's talk about the specs and stuff on the Vitalon here and the price and that kind of stuff. If you want, you can fast forward. We got some ride video after this, and then we got some helmet information. We got a new helmet that's specifically made for e-bikes and the speed that e-bikes go at. I'm really excited about that. Uh, so anyway, Vitalon, you know, I want to thank them again for sending this. Uh, we've had a lot of e-bikes sent to us over the last few years and uh, seen a lot of different styles and stuff. And I've never heard of Vitalon before this. But I saw the bike and I'm like, it looks really familiar. I saw the rest of their offerings and I'm like, that looks really familiar. Um, and you've seen probably one that looks a lot like this on the channel before. And this one, well, we'll talk about that. Now, this is the U7 Step Through Fat Tire Electric Bike. Okay, basically it's a folding bike. It's a small tire, fat tire. When I say small tire, I mean the radius is smaller than like the big 20, 26 inch kind of tires. Um, this is definitely made for portability. It's made for off, off road ish. Okay. The fat tires, they help with suspension. First of all, uh, they make the ride really cushy and smooth. You can ride in the sand. You could ride on dirt and gravel. Uh, you can ride on bad pavement. If you, and they're really popular. The style of bikes really popular with the RV set. I know we spend four to five months out of the year living out of our RV as we travel back and forth between, uh, Montana and Vegas and all points in between. Um, anyway, see a lot of this kind of stuff. And also in both places that we stay when we're up in Montana and when we're down in near, just south of Vegas, sorry, the Apple, go away, Apple. There, turn him off. Um, they're both tourist towns. So we see a lot of the tourists with the RVs and with the, uh, the e-bikes. And um, so folding e-bike, it's also uh, the aspect where it has the battery behind the seat post, which I think is pretty cool. There's a little lever. You can't really see it right here. There's a little lever right there. And I didn't get video of it. I'm sorry. You, you lift up. And the seat flips up and then you grab the battery and just pull it right out, which is great because now you can lock the bike up outside, take the battery inside, which is the most expensive component of, of it and the most delicate component. Take that inside and, and keep it nice and warm and charge it inside all by itself. You don't have to leave the charger outside. Everything's safe. It's a great style. I really like it. They make it easy to pull the battery on these. Um, the, the seat post on this is sprung, as you can kind of see there. Uh, gives it a little bit extra suspension. Some people don't care for it. Some people do. Uh, it's got suspension forks up front. Uh, we talked about a lot of the other stuff, but here's the, the relevant specs that you really need to look at. Uh, yeah, they got free shipping, 100% money back, 18-month warranty, UL certified. That's important also, UL certified, because a lot of these batteries on some of the cheaper bikes are not, and their lithium ion can be dangerous if not treated properly. 18 volt, 16 amp hour, which if you see my other bike, bike videos, that to me is pretty much standard right on the line of this is it this is what you're getting anything more than that i consider to be a bonus anything less than that i'm kind of scratching my head going why are they cheaping out 750 watt motor that's important if you're a smaller person or a kid you can get by with a 500 watt motor if you're a standard person or i should say or if you live in a town with no hills it doesn't make you go faster. 500 watt, basically the choices are 500 watt or, set, or 750. When you get into hub motors, or not hub motors, but uh, 
uh, uh, what do you call it? The mid drive motors, it, it gets all wonky and bonky. But for hub motors like these, and that's the mo most e bikes are, um, the 750 is considered the high end range and it's going to give you more pull, it's more torque. And so if you're an adult or a bigger person, you're going to want that 35 to 55 mile range. Not the most exaggerated claims I've seen on the channel, but uh, a little on the high end. Fat tire bikes are going to get less than average. Uh, small wheel bikes are going to get less than average. So you're going to go down, down for that. Uh, if you pump the tires up all the way, you're in pedal assist one, you're on perfectly smooth pavement, and there's a light, light breeze behind your back, you'll probably get in that 50 mile range. Uh, but mostly you're going to see the 20 to 30 mile, 20, well, depending, if you're going to pedal assist, you're going to get that 20 to 40 mile range, depending on use. Uh, and in, if you're going to just throttle, you're going to be 10 to 15, depending on use, you know, weight, clothing. Yeah. Cause like if you're wearing like a big windbreaker. It's going to act like an, like a parachute. Okay. So it, it aero, aerodynamics actually really are a thing with bikes. Uh, class three, that means it's got a pedal assist and a throttle five, six hour char charging time and seven speed gear shifting again, standard, but we're going to go back to the battery and the motor. Cause that's important because. Uh, also, I should point out, this is their spring sale, so it's down from $1,500, and you get the universal rear basket and the front rack. The front, the, the back rack on these bikes is nice, okay? It's great that, they're, that most of these bikes are now coming with them, but that universal basket really ups the usability of, the, of these bikes. I can send the, the Cubs to the store. I can send them to the UP, UPS to pick up packages, uh, and they love doing it. They love being helpful and getting on their bikes and zooming all over town and, and having a great time. The front rack means they can just carry more. They can do other stuff, um, and these are free when you buy this. Uh, the other bike that I was talking about is Hay Bike. Now, Hay Bike's been around for a while. They've got the Ranger. I actually have this exact bike. Hay Bike sent it to me. All right. So, uh, and we had it. We're doing a long term review on it. And this bike is kissing cousins. It is maybe even closer than that. It is really close uh, to, to the other bike. There's some slight differences. Again, they, they can vary on the components. You've noticed the saddle on it. It looks a little bit different. This one looks a little cushier. Uh, the, the, but uh, the front headlight is a little bit different, but I mean, all the important stuff, the frame, the wheels, the battery is all the same, very similar kind of stuff. And, but you look at $1,200, why not get $1,200 on the Ranger and I can get the basket and it's got a front, a front basket and a rear basket rather than, uh, just a front uh, rack and a rear basket, except you got to pay for it. All right. $1,200 doesn't get you any of this. You're looking at $140 on top of that. Now you're going significantly over the price of this. But wait, what about the battery? Well, the, this is a 16 amp hour with a 750 watt motor. And this is a 500 watt motor with a 15 amp hour battery. Not a whole lot less, but less. The, the motor though, that's a, that's a whole nother story. And I'll be honest, it doesn't get ridden a lot back home. It's sitting at home in Montana because we got hills. It's Montana. And uh, nobody wants to ride it because it, it's just so slow going up the hills. You're like, does it get there? It gets there. Eventually, the 750 is just smooth power pulling up the hills. The 500s, you hit the hill and it goes, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. And it gets there, but it's, it's not a great time. Um, fact of the matter is this I would like the, I like the headlight on the hay bike better. Um, and the seat might be a little bit more comfortable. You can get seats, Walmart, super cheap, nice Schwinn, super wide, comfortable, great seats for like 20 bucks. Seats are not a big deal. Headlights are not a big deal. Bigger batteries, bigger hub motors. That that's a, a deal breaker. Okay. Um, as to, what and I'll put a link to the Vitalon down below. I'll say here's what I don't like about it. Um, I don't like folding e bikes <laughs> unless unless you specifically need a folding e bike. If you're buying it for hey, I may use it sometime, don't get a get a good bike rack. There's adapters you can get for these. I've got a video talking about it where. It, connects to the stem and under the seat gives you a crossbar so you can put it on a standard uh, bike rack or you can get the motorcycle style where the, the wheels just set on it. Um, it it's unless you specifically need it to fold folding e-bikes are a pain the 
they just ride a little bit differently. It's not terrible. It's not terrible, but you never quite feel like it's a standard bike. Um, the real issue is the handlebars are shorter. To, they're closer together. You're riding like a T-Rex. Why? Because they make it to fold, so they have to get it compact where they can. The spacing on the hand, on the pedals is not as wide. The pedals themselves are not as wide. Also, the pedals fold, which can be tricky in certain circumstances. Uh, Duncan has a huge chunk taken out of toe because a pedal folded on him as he was bringing up for it. And it's a whole other thing. It didn't malfunction. It's just a function of the bike. It doesn't fold away from you. It folds up. But if your foot comes off, you try to recover and you hit that and it comes up. That sucks. Um, anyway, uh, I, I, there's, I've seen a lot of people in the RV parks. We spend five months, four to five months out of the year traveling with an RV in our RV. I mean, my RV now talked to a lot of people in the RV parks because we always have e-bikes. People always want to talk to me about e-bikes. And I see a lot of people who bought folding e-bikes who don't ride them much because they don't like them. Try a folding e-bike if you can. Find somebody who's got one. Uh, rent one in town if you have to because folding e-bikes are a compromise. I'm not saying this is bad. This is, there's nothing unique about my issues with folding e-bikes to the Vitalin. All folding e-bikes have this problem. All the different styles. I, like, And if you go back to their homepage and you look at the other ones, these are folding e-bikes as well. When you fold them, they don't get lighter. If you have a problem lifting it uh, when it's like this, you're going to have an even harder problem lifting it when it's folded because it becomes really cumbersome. <laughs> Let's see if there's a picture of one folded here. Uh, yeah, that is not easy. That's a real finger pincher in there. And uh, it's, it, if you've ever dealt with one, folding it's not easy on any of them. Uh, they want to slam forward or not fold. And then there's nothing, it's hard to run. Anyway, it's, it's, I'm, I should do a whole video on why I don't like folding e-bikes. All right, let's show you some ride videos so you can check it out. Again, I'm going to have links to this down below. And then we're going to talk, uh, actually, uh, you know what? I'm going to talk right now about the helmet. And I'll show you the helmet in real life in a video at the end of the ride video. But Zignito, again, how do you pronounce these names? They should come with phonetic pronunciations. Zignito sent me this. It's a, it's a, it's a e-bike helmet designed for higher speeds. Duh. I mean, you're not riding like a, a, a regular speeds on a bike. You're riding a little bit faster. And they've come out with this one. And uh, I said, you know, and I want the kids to have something. So uh, I, they said, can we send you one of these? And, you know, I got cubs riding bikes. So I'm like, sure. And of course, they sent the one that my daughter hates, which is this one here. The one my wife and I thought was the coolest. Uh, she's going to give it a paint job and do something cool to it. But the fact is, they're not inexpensive. They're $150. Um, but, uh, you can buy them on Amazon. So, you know, that way you, you know, I don't like sending people to websites where the transaction, it's not a well-known transaction kind of thing. So you can go and check these out over here. Z Zenito on, uh, on what you would call it. Uh, anyway, let me show you the, the riding video and then the, the helmet portion.
Okay, and here is the e-bike helmet I was talking about, the one they sent over. These are rated for the NTA 8776 e-bike helmet standards. All right, this is designed to protect riders up to 28 miles an hour uh, for people who own class three electric e-bikes. And since that's all that we own, and we own a lot of them, the kids ride them everywhere, this was important to me, and I think you'll like it too. That and boom. Okay, now get this hand. Wait, wait, oh, undo sorry. it. <laughs> All right, now just get it close and it will. It'll magnetically attach. There, look. there and it does it itself. His hand was kind of in the way, but it yeah. just, it just clasps on its own. All right, look at me. Turn around. Wait, no, come on, I gotta be able to see the back. Tip your head up so we can see the light. All right, there we go.